It's May, and you know what that means. Wedding season has begun. I'm going to a gay wedding, my cousin's wedding actually, which will be in Italy in a few weeks. I'm elated. So much that I've been scouring the internet, crying at gay wedding videos, and I decided to share with you the most romantic gay weddings. In the comment section, let me know which wedding was your favorite, who is your favorite couple, or if you're getting married soon, which ideas are you borrowing or vendors you plan on using? This video is sponsored by Exter. Exter is a wallet and accessories brand out of Amsterdam. I received my wallet, the Parliament, and a tracker in the mail. What I love about the wallet is the slim size and there's a button you click and your cards pop up. If you have a habit of losing your wallet, like my cousin, then this is what you need. You can ring your wallet and you'll find it. Because the company uses vegan recycled leather and sustainable materials, I bought my cousin a wallet and tracker for his wedding. The link for how to purchase an extra wallet is in the description. Now, stay tuned. Daniel and Preston live in Texas and were married in November of 2019 in the desert at the Sky House in Joshua Tree, California. What sets Daniel and Preston's wedding apart from the others included in the video is the location and simplicity of their wedding. It's a smaller, more intimate wedding, and they planned every detail themselves. The Sky House is an architectural gem sitting on eight acres of land. I actually never considered a desert wedding, but I love seeing nature as the backdrop and the little details. Leaves, flowers, driftwood, and the green boutonnieres, and the food truck, wood accents, and splashes of white. The desert was equally decor as the centerpieces and table runner at the sweetheart table. The video and photography was shot by, by design, out of Portland, Oregon. The home, Sky House, can be rented for $825 a night. Daniel works in IT, and Preston is a licensed professional counselor specializing in gender, sexual, romantic identity development, and LGBTQ plus gender affirming services. Congratulations to the couple. Ryan and Carmine were married in 2018 at Whiteface Club and Resort in Lake Placid, New York. The wedding ceremony was held outside in the garden. They chose the location because it's close to their hearts and they plan to own a vacation home there. Homes start at 800,000, FYI. The garden and lake served as the backdrop and the details were refined and natural with wood and plant accents. The reception was held at Lake Placid Lodge. A moment to share was the videographer. Kevin Damasio was the photographer. Whiteface Club provided the couple with the wedding coordinator. Renaissance Floral Design created the floral arrangements. They wore Gucci suits, Bottega Venata shoes, and Cartier watches. Carmine is a real estate agent and co-host of HGTV's show Inside Out, and Ryan is also a real estate agent. Congratulations to the couple. Dijon and Carlos's wedding is definitely wedding goals. The couple live in Texas and were married in Barcelona, Spain at a vineyard. The region has produced wine for more than 2,000 years. The tower pictured here, which was first a farmhouse, was built in the 14th century. Like the previous two couples, the setting became part of the wedding experience. The wedding photos amongst the grapevines are gorgeous. The ceremony was held on the grounds as well. The film and photography was provided by The Unique Wedding, which is based out of the Canary Islands. However, it is an international company. They will fly to wherever you are. The beach and mountain videos were also shot in the Canary Islands. Their tuxedos were provided by The Tough Boot and Company, a custom atelier based out of Atlanta, Georgia. Dijon is a product director for a footwear company. Congratulations to the lovely couple. Jay and JJ Leaf Clark met at a pet store in Dallas, Texas, where they both lived at that time. But JJ moved to California shortly thereafter. The move drew them closer together. The Leaf Clarks were married at a hotel in Italy overlooking Lake Como. 
The ceremony was romantic and picturesque. The wedding colors were black and white, with Jay's party in black and JJ's in white. 20 of their closest family and friends joined them in Italy for the intimate ceremony. The Italian backdrop added to the beauty of the moment. Jay proposed to JJ in Paris, the city of lights, near the Eiffel Tower. I love their proposal video as well. Look at the ring. Jay purchased the ring at Chase Gregory Jewelers in California. The ring is a cushion cut eternity band with about 10 carats set in white gold. Jay's ring complements JJ's ring. His ring is a gold eternity band with smaller stones all around. For their wedding day, the Leaf Clarks wore Paul Smith suits. The women in the wedding party wore dresses from Suit Supply out of New York. On Suit Supply's website, you can create your dream tuxedo and then have it altered. I love that and definitely will create a suit on their website. Found Vintage Rentals provided the decor and Design 24 Carats Catering planned the wedding. Jay is an executive in tech and JJ is a writer and entrepreneur. Congratulations to this couple. Arut and Rosario were married in Glendale, California in 2020 at St. John's Episcopal Cathedral. Their wedding was opulent and luxurious with a color scheme of white with accents of gold. The theme was the gay royals and it looked like a royal wedding. The reception was held at the Regency event venue, a grand ballroom space. At the reception, there was a custom monogrammed floor, gold tables and chairs, and tall centerpieces made with white roses and orchids. I love orchids. Their table was overflowing with flowers and an eight tiered cake. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe that. Eight tiers with gold leaves trailing down one side. They each wore three outfits with pieces by Dolce & Gabbana, Rosario, and on 9th Street Fashion. The photography was provided by JJ Studios. A rep from Marikai Events LA served as the wedding planner. Belladonna Suites provided the cake and Martha and Company provided the flower arrangements. Harut works in property management and Rosario owns a swimwear line called Salvatore Swim and works in management at a denim company. Congratulations to this couple. What sets Jaden and Christopher's wedding apart from the others included in the video is the attention to details, which made for a chic and sophisticated event. The decor was provided by Tilly Events and Rentals, a bespoke event design company based out of Dallas-Fort Worth, Texas. Tilly services all of Texas and the surrounding areas. They have a showroom in Dallas on Switzer Avenue, and it's available by appointment only. The venue is Notting Hill Place in Little Elm, Texas, which is a 17,000 square foot venue on five acres. The starting rental fee during peak season is $3,900. Included in the rental is an on-site venue manager, security, valet, and 10 hours of facility use. Their suits were provided by Don Murphy, who is an LGBT-friendly suit designer. The London baker, who provided the cake, appeared on Cake Wars on the Food Network. Congratulations to Jaden and Christopher. I love Matt and Chris's story. They met through Twitter and fell in love after having a conversation about Eurovision. I love Eurovision, by the way. Matt proposed four months after they met, and they live in London together with their daughter. Compared to the other couples in the video, their wedding was smaller and focused less on decor and more about the space. The space is gorgeous. They were married at one Whitehall Place, a private club dating back to 1884 with neo-gothic architecture overlooking the River Thames. I love the tiled pillars, fireplaces, high ceilings, glittering chandeliers, period decor, and grand marble staircase. They traveled to India for their honeymoon, which was made possible by generous gifts from family and friends using a website called Patchwork. Patchwork is an alternative gift registry and honeymoon fund website. Matt is an executive at an accounting and consulting firm, and Chris is a musical director and pianist. Congratulations to Matt and Chris. 
Tanae and John's ceremony was an intimate outdoor wedding at the McDonald Mansion in Santa Rosa, California. The home was built in 1876 and used in the filming of Walt Disney's Pollyanna. The husbands planned all of the details of their wedding. Their wedding was a fusion of both of their traditions and cultures with a modern twist. John's family greeted Tanae with the Hindu blessing and presented him with ceremonial gifts. The garden where the ceremony took place received an Indian inspired makeover. Many of the details, including the cake, reflected the designs and colors found in Jaipur pottery and old Delhi architecture. The color theme was pastels. Encore event rentals provided the decor. John wore an Indian Sherwani designed by Varan Ball, and Tanay wore a pink suit designed by Marikai Brothers. A rainbow flag serving as a canopy and a floral canopy evoked the atmosphere of nighttime in Delhi's historic gardens. They had a vendor to create dogger types for guests including a vintage backdrop. Their bands were from Jindal Diamonds in India and Ritual by Design was the henna artist. Congratulations to Tanay and John. Ian and Jonathan were married in Jalisco, Mexico at the Hacienda El Carmen Hotel and Spa, which was built sometime in the 1500s. The hotel with its brick arches, stone columns, and antique furnishings is dripping in authenticity and tradition. Ian is from Ireland and Jonathan is from Mexico. I love the exposed brick, which made for a dramatic backdrop for the reception under candlelight. This was a magical wedding and they even had fireworks. They had a chance encounter when Ian was visiting Mexico. Shortly thereafter, they were engaged. Dreamers Film House shot the photography, I mean videography, Eduardo Briseño photographed the wedding, and Ovision Mexicana is the name of the mariachi band. The hotel has an in-house wedding photographer, I mean wedding planner, not sure why I'm so fixated on the word photographer today, <laughs> Jaime Ortiz, who will take care of all of the arrangements for you if you choose to get married there. Ian works in the hedge fund industry, so if you need a hedge fund manager, contact Ian. Jonathan works in compliance and contract negotiations. Congratulations to Ian and Jonathan. The next couple is Marcus and Nathan. Guess the state where they were married. Yes, you guessed it. Deep in the heart of the Republic of Texas. I think this is a sign that I should move to Texas to find a husband. All signs point to Texas. Four of the other couples featured are originally from Texas. My man crush is from Texas, but he friend zoned me. If I move to Texas, things might change. Marcus and Nathan had a classic Southern romantic wedding and I love it. Colche W Events created the floral arrangements. Butterfly Cakery provided their cake. This cake shop is one of the most affordable bakeries that I have ever seen, specifically for wedding cakes. I love that the prices are included on the website as well. You can customize your wedding cake directly on their website. Weddings Unlimited provided video and photography for the wedding. Their rings are from Juliana LeBlanc Designs and they honeymooned in Puerto Rico. Marcus is a property manager for a commercial real estate company and Nathan is a hairstylist specializing in blowouts on curly textured hair. Congratulations to Marcus and Nathan. To all the couples featured, I wish them 100 years of happiness together. This is my second gay wedding video Check out the first on my Out and Proud playlist along with other videos I've edited. Thank you for watching this video. Please follow me on Instagram at writervicyates for more about my art and literary projects. And in the comment section, let me know which wedding was your favorite, who is your favorite couple, or if you're getting married soon, which ideas are you borrowing or vendors you plan on using. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and join if you can and like and share this video. Until next time, have a lovely day. Besos. Mwah.